Late today, a milestone SpaceX launch was scrubbed until Sunday because of the weather. This flight will open a new era for America's space program, with crews routinely launching to the space station using commercially developed spacecraft. CBS's Mark Strassman is in Florida, and he's keeping a close eye on Launchpad 39A. With these four astronauts and one revolutionary approach, America's back in the space launch business. This uh, start of kind of a new era in terms of how we're going to uh, ferry crews up and down to the International Space Station. Lift off. Starting with this reusable Falcon 9 rocket, a product of NASA's public-private partnership with SpaceX. This crew trained for months inside their new capsule called Crew Dragon. Think of it as a flying iPad packed with G-Wiz touchscreen technology. How challenging was the whole COVID thing? That's been very challenging. We're not talking about just keeping us safe, um, but it's keeping our families safe. They'll stay in space for six months. Victor Glover is the only space rookie. What is it you're most looking forward to? Every single bit of the mission. It'll be the first time I've been able to do that thing in space. Do not latch and the IMB is closed. Glover's 44, a former Navy pilot and the father of four girls. In another milestone, he'll become the first black astronaut to stay for an extended time aboard the space station. Why do you think it took 20 years? I don't have any idea why it may have taken this long, but uh, those, those kinds of things can be challenging. Does that mean something to you? I will once I get there. It is important to have kids who look like me or look like I looked when I was younger uh, see someone that, that uh, they can relate to that way. Here's why the launch slid from Saturday night to Sunday night. SpaceX wants to recover and reuse the rocket's first stage. It would land on a ship in the Atlantic. But because of the remnants of Ada, the ship could not leave in time to get to the recovery zone in time. Major? Mark Strassman with all the details, and we all look forward to that launch.